Hello everybody and happy Sunday. It is time for Sunday Screaming with Nina Soden, me, the redheaded author. Okay, so today we are talking about the Jane Austen Book Club. This is a 2007 release, so it's been around for about 12 years now. And it stars Maria Bello, Emily Blunt, Kathy Baker, Amy Brenneman, I hope I said that right, Maggie Grace, and Hugh Dancy. Yeah, that's a book club I could get into. Honestly, you know me, I love books, so any book club is good on my list. Now, I rated this one a four stars overall for writing, cinematography, story, acting, the overall four stars. I thought it was a great, fun, cute chick flick. Here's the blurb for the Jane Austen Book Club. Six Californians start a club to discuss the works of Jane Austen, only to find their relationships, both old and new, begin to resemble the 21st century version of her novels. Hmm, that is intriguing. Okay, so the story is this. These women from California start this book club to explore Jane Austen's books. And Sylvia's husband dumps her for another woman. So Bernadette and Jocelyn organize the book club to basically distract her. They recruit Sylvia's daughter, Allegra. They recruit Prudy, a young teacher whose marriage is a bit on the rocks. And then Greg, a sci-fi fan who jo joins the group solely out of his attraction for Jocelyn. Little does he know that Jocelyn wants to set him up with Sylvia. So the six book club members read and discuss one Austin novel per month. That's right. While Jocelyn attempts to pique Griggs' interest in Sylvia, she fails to see her own interests in him rising. Allegra falls in love with a woman that she meets uh, skydiving. Then after unexpected heartbreak, she is able to mend her heart through a new relationship. Prudy contemplates an affair with one of her students and may take things a little too far. Sylvia's ex-husband keeps popping up in her life and eventually tells her that he still loves her. By the end of the movie, the truth about each of our characters is revealed. Hmm. Okay, here's my two cents on the Jane Austen book club. I'm not going to lie, this is a chick flick. If you don't like chick flicks, you probably won't like this one. I love a good romantic comedy chick flick every now and then. Not always, but every now and then. But they are not my, they're not my typical go-to type of movie, but I do love them. With that said, as an author and an avid reader, I loved this film. It's about books. Who doesn't love that? Okay, maybe not everybody loves that, but I love that. The cast is amazing. In fact, I really can't imagine a better cast for this film. I think it was beautifully put together with Emily Blunt, Maria Bello, Amy Brenneman, Kathy Baker. I mean, come on. With them taking the lead, this movie was destined to be a success and a storyline that manages to infuse the characters' lives with pieces of, of Jane Austen's fictional worlds. Yeah, that's just plain fun, right? Okay, so like most chick flicks, this film isn't about wowing the viewer with amazing cinematography and special effects and boom, 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 lots of noise and action. This film relies solely on the dialogue and the actor's abilities to communicate their emotions to the audience. The character development within each of the relationships throughout the film was beautiful. And just giving the viewer so much to watch 
explore and relate to with these relationships and with these individual characters was phenomenal. Of course, not, not everyone will be able to relate to all of the characters, but that's the beauty in this film. There is a character for each and every viewer to relate to. Okay, I believe that if Jane Austen were alive today, she would be proud of the way this film utilized her themes and wove them into the lives of the characters. I think it was very seamlessly done and I thought it was beautiful. So watching the film, you get this sense that the author of the book, because this is based on a book um, of the same name, the Jane Austen Book Club, you get a sense that she truly had a, a passion and an understanding for Jane Austen's books. And although I have not yet read the Jane Austen Book Club, I definitely intend on putting that in my to-do or to-read stack because I have a growing list of books that I need to read, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw that one in there as well as one that I will eventually get to because I enjoyed the movie so much. If you have already watched the movie, comment below and let me know what you thought of it. If you haven't yet seen it, comment below and tell me why you have not yet seen it and if you want to see it because it is intriguing. So, all right, and that is it. Now we're on to my favorite quotes. My favorite quote for this movie is this, and it's, it's by Bernadette. Let us never underestimate the power of a well-written letter. So in today's society where everything is done via phone or text or Facebook or Instagram, and nobody hand writes any letters anymore and sticks them in the mail, who doesn't love getting snail mail? I love getting a letter or a card in the mail, but so few people do that these days. So never underestimate the power of a well-written letter. Hmm. I just think that is very true. I think there's a lot of power that can be said in the handwritten letter. And just a lot to be said for somebody taking the time to write a letter these days when everything is done in quick little spurts of text and email and Twitter and Facebook and other social media. All right, so that is the Jane Austen Book Club. Again, if you've watched it, let me know what you thought of it. If you read the book, let me know if it is worth the read. All right, that is Sunday Screening with me, the redheaded author. If you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and click like. You can check out all of my videos. I do my Friday read selection on Friday, Sunday screening here on Sundays, and my Mindfulness Monday videos on Monday. Check them out on my channel and have a great day. Until next time, keep reading.